session 1.2 good day good day everybody and once again we're back together we've already covered question 1.1 all right so we are continuing on this uh, exam right this is the technical maths may june 2024 exam right so they say given 2y minus x is equal to 7 is e uh, and rather x squared plus xy is equal to 21 minus y squared they say make x the subject of the formula right in the equation of the equation 2y minus x is equal to 7 now please i don't want us to waste a lot of time on this one right so i know in this case that we can take y to the other side right so we had 2y minus x equal to 7 right so we can take 2y to the other side i'm left with minus x is equal to 7 minus 2y okay but remember we want to make x the subject of the formula so what am i going to do i'm going to multiply everything by negative 1 so that i get rid of the negative in front of the x so which means everything changes sign so i'm going to have x is equal to well i'm going to put it as 2y minus 7 okay right that's minus 7 plus 2y so i can actually put it as 2y minus 7 right so i am going to now look at the next one okay so they say hence or otherwise solve for x and y all right so what are we going to do we're going to substitute for x everywhere that we see x in the other equation in the second equation right so I'm going to say, well, substitute, let's call this equation 1, and let's call this one equation 2. So I'm going to substitute for x into, or rather, let me say, substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Right, and please, guys, I want you to be very careful when you're doing this, because sometimes this is where we've got a tendency to make mistakes so i've got x squared so which means i'm going to say 2y minus 7 all squared right plus i've got x times y right so x is 2y minus 7 okay times y so i can say y times x it's easy when i express it in this manner so that's x times y okay and this is equal to 21 minus y squared so we'll have to do a lot of gymnastics mathematically for us to find the final answer right um when i run out of space guys i'm going to use the um the parts at the bottom okay but let's try and do the best that we can right so we've got a square bracket here that will result in 4y squared please i said to you whenever you've got a square bracket right you take the first term squared that's 4y squared right for the second term you say 2y multiplied by negative 7 multiplied by 2 so 2y multiplied by 7 will give us negative 14y right and multiplied by 2 will give us negative 28y okay and this is plus negative 7 squared will give us 49 okay right and then we go for this one uh, y multiplied by 2y that will give us 2y squared okay y multiplied by negative 7 will give us negative 7y i'm gonna bring these to the other side this is minus 21 okay and this is plus y squared and this would be equal to zero right now let's take all the like terms right you've got 4y squared plus 2y squared plus y squared so that will give us 7y squared so i'm done with these guys all of them positive right and then let's take the 7y terms so i've got minus 28 right minus 7y okay so that will give us minus 35y all right and then we've got 49 okay minus 21 
that will give us plus 28 okay and this will be equal to zero right so i can see that all the terms are actually um, uh, applicable or rather uh, multiples of seven so if i divide that by seven uh, i'll have y squared minus okay so uh, 35 divided by 7 will give me 5 y and 28 divided by 7 that will give me 4 okay right so are we able to substitute uh, to actually um, um, factorize that so that's going to be y and y that's going to be 4 and 1 we are definitely able to factorize it so we're going to have this is going to be negative and negative right so four times one gives us four but four plus one would definitely give us five the middle term but we need to have those as negative right so y would be equal to four or y is equal to one but remember we meant to solve for x and y so to solve for x we're going to substitute right for y Okay, in equation one, you remember equation one is the one that we actually derived. Okay, this guy over here. So the first one will be x is equal to two times four minus seven, or x will be two times one minus seven. So our values for x, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 7 is 1. And the other one, uh, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 7 would give us negative 5. All right, so those are the values for x. And this is how the cookie crumbles on this section. We'll look at 1.3 in the next video.